Hi friends, I'm here in the kitchen with Arlene Francis and her cookbook, No Time for Cooking. And I have made her ham and potato salad loaf. Now, it doesn't sound that bad. I like ham, I like potato salad, but the thing that gets me is you have to put uh, gelatin in it. So it's, um, so that it can be formed into this mold. And that's the part that kind of bothers me. So I'm a little nervous, but here goes. I am going to unveil this right now before your eyes. Here we go. The directions are not very clear. It doesn't tell me how to get it out of this. So I'm just going to have to use my good instincts. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Okay. All right, Arlene Francis, it better look like yours. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, ho, 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 ho. I have a ham and potato salad loaf in front of me. Wow. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to cut it. And I'm using my special knife that cuts through everything because I don't exactly know how this dish is going to respond. Here we go. Is it upside down? It's upside down. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, my. Oh, <laughs> can you see it? Oh, I don't know if it's like the picture. Can you get the picture for comparison there? Um, I don't know. Okay, now here we go. So I would have to say that mine is not quite looking as pretty as Arlene's, but hey, okay. So now I'm gonna taste it. And like I said, I like all the ingredients in it for the most part, but I don't like gelatinous substances in my food, so here we go. Husband, do you want to try some? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. I'm, and it also, they didn't say how you're supposed to eat it. <laughs> well, I would have to say, I like ham and I like potato salad. I don't like them mashed into a loaf. So... This is one recipe that I will not choose to make again. All right, friends, thanks for watching. Bye.